if you've decided to download the Qualtrics Experience Management or the Qualtrics XM uh, module that we've developed in Drupal, then you will probably find yourself on the Git instructions page or possibly on the just standard Qualtrics XM page project. Um, and uh, you're thinking, yes, I wouldn't mind running that in my Drupal environment. Well, what I'm about to show you is how you can do that pretty much from the word go. I love Git, so rather than downloading it through the, um, you know, download the, the version, um, instead I like to do this command here, git clone. I've got a Git account, so it's already pre-filled that in, fvp at git. Um, and I would go to my command prompt, cd into the directory where I've got, this is my seventh time that I've installed a fresh clean install of GovCMS, which is a Drupal environment. I've gone into my modules directory. There's a variety of modules directories you can go into, but I've gone into that one, which I know is a nice spot to place my Qualtrics XM module. I put in the git, git clone command. That pulls a few lines after I've entered my password, it pulls a few uh, lines of code from the Git repository and creates a directory called Qualtrics XM. You also see add to head here. That's really useful for, for Qualtrics's um, site intercept. You can enable site intercept instantly through add to head, but that's for another video. So I've just installed Qualtrics XM. Uh, I'm now going to, all I need to do now is jump into Drupal and reload the uh, modules page. So I've logged in as administrator into my Drupal environment. I'm reloading the modules page. Uh, that might take a moment because I have a very slow old computer. Um, I would then search for the Qualtrics um, module that should be somewhere near the bottom of this uh, page. So I'm just scrolling to the bottom. It's of course not there. So I will scroll back to the top and type in the word Qualtrics, and there I can see both of them are there, Qualtrics XM and Qualtrics XM Embed. Uh, so I will turn both of them on. This one, the embedding is dependent on that one, so you really do want both of them on. And once they're both on, I will save, and I'll show you then how you can create a content type, a Drupal content type, that uses that module. So it, it actually, um, first of all, the module has to be configured. I'll show you that first because you need to plug it into your Qualtrics environment. Uh, here I am logged into my Qualtrics environment and I can see I've already got a bunch of surveys that are ready to go. But for me to have Drupal communicate under the covers with the Qualtrics API at the back end, I need to tell Drupal a secret. And you get that secret through account settings. And in account settings, under Qualtrics IDs, you'll see that ID right there for the API. And I'm gonna change all of these IDs um, after this video because now they're public knowledge, I will go and generate a new one down the track and the same with my Adobe ones. Um, but this is what we would copy, that one there, I've copied it, copy. And when we go to our local modules, which takes a moment to load, while my computer groans under the weight, I can go ahead and configure that part of the um, of the module. Now I can either just go to uh, pull this down and say configure, or what I prefer to do is just to click click on configuration and find the uh, content authoring module called Qualtrics XM settings there. So I'll hit that one manually. And that then allows me to enter that API token. Now, this Drupal environment is able to speak with Qualtrics and get information. I'm also going to make it more uh, efficient by telling it which data center is closest to me. And because I'm in Australia, I know AU1 is my local data center. That's something that you can read up on in the um, uh, Qualtrics documentation. Similarly, I could put my Qualtrics organization ID in there. I happen to know that it's Q Frank P. Again, you can find that and look that up uh, using these instructions. That actually is uh, the first step because that connects now the Qualtrics environment and the my own Drupal environment. So I've saved that configuration. And what I'll do next is I'll show you the surveys tab when this is finished. Because under the surveys tab, 
uh, it will now go and call the API and pull back all the surveys that are available in my Qualtrics environment. And as you saw here, um, or actually on the projects, uh, there were a bunch of surveys available. Um, I believe, oh, here they are, citizen uh, feedback, um, something about ice cream, and it all takes its sweet time to load. So something about ice cream for Australians. Um, there is a, uh, um, some insights. And when we go to this page right here, all those surveys are listed, as well as with links that you can click through to have a quick look at what those surveys look like. Um, and they'll be rendered within a window on your own local machine. I can see the user ID who created them. It's all me. Um, we are not resolving those into actual names just now because of a security feature. And we can see that how many responses these have produced. So that's the, the citizen website feedback has produced 59 responses. Good one. All right, Drupal and Qualtrics are now connected. Next thing is to create content types. Content types, so these are the types of pages that you might have that need to have a Qualtrics survey embedded in them. So, um, well, one such thing might be, um, let's just say that, going to my projects here, register for research is a survey that I like. I want people to be able to register for research. So I wanna create a content type called, you know, register for research or research, um, a research content type. So I might go in and say, add content type, and I will call it research. Participate in our research. In there, um, just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to set the publishing option to always published, scheduler, published, always make it published so that it is always published. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what to say there. I'm gonna save that and add some fields now so that when I do a, um, a research page, that there will be a option there to participate in research. And that option will have a pull down menu in it where the author, the uh, page author, can uh, pull down uh, a list of surveys and put a survey, embed a survey within that page. So this is the field, uh, so I've got the body and the um, title and other bits and pieces for this research page, but I also want to be able to put a enroll now field in there, which is going to be an embedded survey like that. And I will save that. So now when somebody creates a page of type research, there will be an enrollment survey that will be embedded in that page for people that might wanna enroll in uh, participating in that research. I won't talk too much about this uh, iframe auto sizing, but make sure you know I will talk about it. If you copy this and you allow it to resize, when you go into the survey, and head into the look and feel for your surveys. You can paste that little piece of JavaScript under advanced and here into the header. That way, the uh, survey, whenever the new, a new page is, whenever you navigate to a new page, like as soon as I click on yes, it navigates to a new page, this header will be re-rendered and this script will be rerun. And what the script does, it simply says to the iframe with it that the survey is rendered in within Drupal, it says, hey, the height, excuse me, the height of my survey, the scroll height of my survey has changed to however many pixels that is. That way Drupal can adjust the uh, height of that survey when it's embedded within a Drupal page. It's a nice way to make good use of space. Oh, I might show you that in a moment. I've recorded it in another video. The alternative is just to say, oh, well, look, just make my survey 800 by 800 or something like that. So I'm gonna save those field settings. And the next thing then I'll do is I will create a new research uh, page by going into my content and saying, okay, I wanna create a new page called research, add content, it's called research. There it is. 
And on that page, I'm gonna say, enrollments now open, participate in our research. Please join our panel of researchers. We will ask you questions throughout the year. Some people don't like that, so you've got to um, make this read a little nicer so that people will feel much more comfortable about um, participating in your research and taking a survey every now and then. And here is the enroll now field that I said would appear on my uh, research pages. And in there, I might put in the register for research. So that's the survey that's going to appear in this page. I want to make sure that this is immediately um, provide a menu link. Uh, there on the main menu. And I want this to be live right away. Now I know there's a way to make it live right away, but I can't remember where that is. Um, so we'll just let that go. I'll save that. I won't bother going to a preview because I'm going to go straight to the research page now and see what it looks like. The intent of course, while we're waiting for it to load, is that it should be a full on survey after my blurb that I've put at the top. And here it is, enroll now, submit it. Please join our panel of researchers. And then of course, um, this is that, uh, that survey that you saw uh, in this environment here. There it is in its full glory on the big screen. And here it is in its small glory within Qualtrics. But of course, uh, you know, if you're in the Qualtrics environment, it will, sorry, if you're in the Drupal environment, it will resize beautifully um, you know, to suit the, the layout that you have available. All right. Um, that's probably all I'm going to show you. Um, as you can see, it should be resizing automatically. And uh, let me just go back. Yeah, that looks like it is resizing, going taller and smaller. Um, that's probably all I should show you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you install the Qualtrics XM module for Drupal and GovCMS. If you have any feedback, please leave that feedback on the Drupal project. Thank you.